morning, folks. Welcome back. This is John Betty Paw recording at 20 minutes before 12 noon on the morning now of Sunday, the 25th day of April. Time flies. Welcome back, everybody. And first of all, I want to give a shout out here to Norman Kirsten Esquire, a gentleman and a scholar. Gentlemen and scholars, they have him and his lovely wife have six kids so far. I got him. Un, deux, trois, five, six. Six wonderful fine kids, and they are great kids. Now, his company's called East Coast Cattle, and he's going to be butchering beef for ordering on the middle of May. On the middle of May, it's actually going to be here on the. Uh, I made a note last night after police buying some beef. It's to support the local farmer, Norman Kirsten Esquire, gentleman and scholar of East Coast Cattle and Beef. And the orders are going to be, get your orders in for mid-May. They're going to be doing another beef water up. So keep your eyes out for that. It's John Pettibaugh leaving it for Norman Vincent Kirsten Esquire of East Coast Beef on at West Bay Road, Inverness County, Nova Scotia. And a key point, extremely important key point, support local farmers. Excellent. It's good stuff. Where's the beef? Well, here's where's the beef. At Norman Kirsten's East Coast Cattle at West Bay Road in beautiful Inverness County, Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Good morning. How you doing? Well, bless your heart. Uh, can you go right next door and get what you like? I'm right to produce the video. This is a saintly, wonderful lady come in. She's normally a lady in white this morning. She's a lady in blue and black. You want to be in camera? No, 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 okay. It's, it's in a tray right in the office. It has your name on it, my dear friend. Thank you very much. Wonderful lady. Saintly good lady. Thank you. Now, second item on my thing today. It's, I was going to do a video, just as I cut ideas out, and sometimes I don't get them right away because stuff comes up. Now, Chronicle Herald on Saturday, which would have been the 27th day of March, and it was Theodore Tugboat. Theodore Tugboat has been, say farewell to Theodore Tugboat, he's been bought by a company up in Hamilton, Ontario. Now, I made a note to do a video and title the video, Jobs in Theodore Tugboat. Now, I'm going to expand that because the graduation is coming up. So, the gentleman that owns this company, he bought the Theodore Tugboat because of the coronavirus and the company went up for sale. It's been bought by Blair McKeel, founded Ontario Marine Services Company, McKeel Marine. I've seen him do work around here often. Anchors away, Theodore Tugboat sold. Now, the point I want to make in this, the large... The biggest struggle we have, this is Mr. McKeel, Blair McKeel speaking. I quote, the biggest struggle we have is to get people interested to work in the marine industries. So we're going to use Theodore to promote the Maritimes and also the Maritime Industries. I'm going to repeat it. It's that important. The biggest struggle we have is getting people to be interested in working in the marine industries. So we're going to use Theodore to promote the Maritimes and marine industry. So you see small and Theodore tugboat, take the kids yourselves and go on a tour of it, but they'll also promote the marine industries. And that's the, this is how I've expanded this video. I've expanded the video here with graduation quickly approaching. There's opportunity right here. There's not one of you. The wonderful lady just near, her husband was a teacher for years, and, and actually, she's a teacher too. So there's opportunities in the trucking industry. I spoke to somebody this week. I've seen some interesting uh, loads of, uh, container loads of paper going through a box for coated paper, and it goes hauled up to Halifax to port to go overseas to printers overseas. Now, the trucking industry, the biggest challenge they have is getting drivers, getting drivers. The construction industry, the construction industry, let me put my glasses back on here. The construction industry, almost every industry you look at, the demographics of Atlantic Canada, we have a disproportionate large number of older people. And they're wonderful. God bless their hearts. Bless their heart and souls. We love them all. But as they retire, there's so many jobs coming up. The Nova Scotia Department of Transportation, 
I speak to the minister, MLA, and he's very concerned. His One of his biggest concerns is that there's something like 23, 2,400 people work in Nova Scotia Park and Transportation, and there's approximately one in three of them are due to retire within five years. So that's that's 800, approximately 800 positions opening up. One third, so other 12, we say in French, one to three, and one of those will be, of every three, will be retiring. So it'll be just two. So you've got to get three. You've got to keep the roads plowed and the ditches ditched and the roads graveled and graded and all kinds of stuff. They take. So those are four that come to mind. The trucking industry, construction, Department of Highways, I mentioned as an example, and almost every industry you look at, there's no need, graduates, for you folks to go elsewhere. There's opportunity, and this applies for people in Newfoundland. Believe me, the demographics of Newfoundland are even older than we have here. So if you're my dear subscribers to Newfoundland and viewers, there's opportunity in your lovely home province of Newfoundland. There's lots of opportunity in Cape Breton Island. There's lots of opportunity in Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, PEI. Your, whatever state you're in America, whatever province you're in Canada, but there's no need in Atlantic Canada anymore to leave. And I appreciate the people with the guts and courage that have left, and you're wonderful people. Bless your heart. You send a lot of money home, and in some cases you, you fly and work and come back and forth. And you're wonderful people, and you're doing great, and we're proud of you, and we appreciate you. We thank you for viewership. But there's new graduates coming up with graduation quickly approaching. I make the point, graduation quickly approaching. In fact, I'll tell you what the title of the video is going to be. Opportunity right here. Opportunity right here. So I've taken, I've expanded it from title jobs in theater tugboat in the marine industry. So you get the marine industry, the trucking industry, the construction business, department of transportation, almost every industry look at. So it's going to be entitled Opportunity right here. With that, I'm trying to shorten my videos up, make them a little more concise, and it's now about eight minutes before 12 noon on Sunday morning, and it's a beautiful Sunday morning. Watch my video if you have a moment once it's uploaded, but get outside today and, and enjoy the fresh air and sunshine and get some yard work done. Don't hate me if you don't watch the video tonight. Get out there and what what do they say? Make the hay when the sun's shining. And as I walked back from church this morning, I think about every second or third house there was somebody doing sodding, fixing up the four-wheeler, doing this in the yard, walking. So lots of people out there enjoying God's great world and a beautiful Sunday morning. With that, it's John Pettypaw wishing each and every one of you wonderful subscribers all the best. And God bless. And please share the video far and wide. Bring it attention to actually a lot of younger viewers already, but more the merrier. Share it around. Teachers, principals, guest speakers at, at graduations. Point out there's opportunity right here. We need you. We want you. And we'd be delighted and honored to have you stay with us. Thank you very much. Share it around and press that subscribe button. It's, it's a great honor. We just hit the 700 subscribers mark. Now we've got to work up to 800 subscribers. So onward we march like the Napoleon's army. Thank you. Bye for now.